One of the reasons given for silencing the other voices is because the dominant voice places a high value on education. In fact, they place a higher value on the learning experience received from the institution than they will place on the value of what you learn by living your life. That's one of the biggest reasons they give for silencing other people. And I think that's rooted in a misunderstanding that the, neither the womanist, nor the feminist, nor the mujerista, nor the black liberation are familiar with academy. It's not true. It's a way of saying your life experiences can't be backed up by what's available in the institution. Because the truth is, if you get into those theologies you're gonna find, they are backed up by academia. They may begin with their life and their lived experience, but it can be documented. Their primary point of connection in biblical interpretation is life experience. And that includes queer theology as well. All of these voices that are excluded rise up out of the places of marginalization, demonization, and discomfort. May God bless us in our discomfort. We can't keep hiding from it.